First thing Saturday morning, now I'm gonna be on the bamboo bar today and hopefully I will excel to a much higher degree than I did last week because working with 69 and 79 pounds respectively is a little bit defeating. So we'll hopefully load that up just a smidge more than the week previous. And other than that, let's move some serious weight. Starting off this upper body training session strong with a top end set of 257 and a half pounds for six reps on the neutral grip angled Swiss bar bench. Now, the sixth rep was sticky. It was slow, but it was clean. At no point did it start coming back down, which is always a great way to finish a set. I went from there into three back off sets respectively, six reps per set, 232 pounds, uh, mini deload there, uh, getting that volume in, but it still felt tough. It still felt heavy regardless. So from there went into some three point landmine rows. Now I really enjoy doing these with the rogue handle. Uh, they're so much better. The range of motion is a little bit shorter. I kind of have to adjust my torso position slightly so that I can get that full extension in the arm without hitting the ground. I assume I could use 25 pound plates, but regardless, I, I prefer the thinner handle. It's much easier for me to get that volume in on the mid back. I went from there into some wide grip pull downs, 155 pounds for sets of 12 across. These felt very clean today. Forearms were a little bit shot though after all of the rowing volume. Then we tackled the earthquake bar got a little bit better this week at the earthquake bar got some increased volume um man that is one deceptive bar i don't know if if watching this you've used the earthquake bar before but it is humbling beyond belief i have a feeling a lot of it has to do with just my um lack of experience with it i just feel all out of sorts i have no idea whether or not the bar is going to take my teeth out or if it's going to hit me in the knee um, but it's the blood flow is incredible um, i believe part of that is due to the fact that considering rep ranges uh, rep for rep it's going to take you a lot longer to complete the set simply because um, you're putting forth so much more effort and and time to ensure that the bar doesn't completely wobble out of control. And so your time under tension rep for rep is much greater. Uh, and then finished off this set with, uh, or this training session with some barbell curls. Just a small progression, 67 pounds for two sets of 15 across. And that was a wrap. Upper body training session today was a success. Hit all my numbers. Smash that PR on the neutral grip angled twist bar and then hit all the rep ranges on all the secondary accessory work. So all in all, successful workout. Have a massive pump right now. Feel good, feel confident. Gonna jump in the shower, clean up, and then get ready for some client appointments. Uh, Saturday's not all that busy today, uh, but there's a lot of work to get done behind the scenes. So I'm looking forward to chipping away at that, hopefully making a significant dent so that I can take maybe two naps tomorrow.